Are you getting tired of running the same prompts in ChatGPT day after day? There is a better way. ChatGPT just rolled out a powerful new feature that lets you schedule your favorite prompts to run automatically. Whether you want daily news summaries, language practice, or custom AI workflows, you can now set up the prompt once and schedule it to repeat as often as you want. In this video, I'll show you how to use this game-changing feature, and I'll share my thoughts on what still needs work. Note, you do need a plus pro or team plan to be able to access the beta. It will be rolled out to everyone eventually, and this is super common with the way that ChatGPT is rolling out new features. First, it's the pro and plus people, then eventually everyone gets access to it. So hopefully they work out some of the kinks by the time they get to you. The first step here is gonna to be to open up ChatGPT. Now there's two ways to get to scheduled tasks. You can change the model directly to go to GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. It shows you that it's in beta, but for now, we're gonna go the other door over to tasks. Now these suggestions here are randomly generated pretty much every time. So you probably have different options than I do here. So we're just gonna click on try your own and you'll notice that you're back to the regular home screen with an empty text box that you can message ChatGPT with whatever you want. And you see that the model also already updated to 4.0 with scheduled tasks. We're gonna say every day at 10.05, Search the web for the most interesting no-code news and give me a summary of what you find. Include links to each story or post. So I'm gonna send that. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna to need to turn on desktop notifications if I want to actually be notified and allow it in Chrome or Brave or Arc or whatever your favorite browser is. And it says it got it. So I have this nice message here uh, that says, this is our daily reminder at 10.05 AM. And I can click on these three dots if I wanna edit it. So when I click on edit, I can see the name of the task, the instructions that I gave it, and its schedule. I can pause, delete, or you know update and save it. So I'm gonna hit cancel because there's nothing I wanna change. And I'm gonna patiently wait for another four and a half minutes. While we're waiting for the scheduled task to actually come in, uh, let me show you a couple of the settings. So inside of settings, your account and then settings, you can click on notifications and you'll see that we have two options here, push and email. Both options are enabled right now, but most of you might want to just have a push notification or just have an email. Personally, I don't have very many things in my browser that I allow notifications for. So I'm just going to turn that off and leave it to email. But for demonstration purposes, I'll keep it on today so that we can uh, see that notification show up right in the browser. And here we go. Wow. We just got a big message from ChatGPT. You saw that notification pop up over on the top right. And let's just quickly read this and see if it found anything useful. So the role of no-code tools in workflow automation, there's a Forbes article, which is kind of nice, no-code technology and the fate of the modern programmer. Oh, very ominous. This is a lot of fluff in my opinion. The modern programmer is very safe. Uh, we can't find enough people who know how to write code. I, I don't think that's going away anytime soon. So if I wanted to actually click on any of these, if I wanted to start on this Forbes article, if you hover over the little tag here at the end, you can actually see the article. And when I click on it, I'm taken directly to the article, which is super nice and convenient. But I do want to note that, hey, we asked it to search the web for the most interesting no code news and give us a summary with a link to each post. And that's exactly what it did. It actually understood the assignment. And if you want to check out all of the articles, you can click on sources down at the bottom and see all of these articles all together. Some of them are kind of old, like this bubble article. You know, at least the, the coin speaker article is two days old. Forbes was today, January 6th. Some of these are, are actually really old. The Salesforce article is, is really old. And so is, so is this GitHub article. But maybe we could actually update the prompt to say it, it was news that came out this week as opposed to the most interesting news, you know, from forever. That might be a way to make this task a little bit better. So let's actually do that. Let's go to the, these three dots here. Let's edit this prompt and just say, search for the most interesting no code news from the past 48 hours and give me a summary of what you find, include links. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this to 1014. I'm going to click save. Here we go. 
no code summary is done. We got the exact same set of articles. This is disappointing. So we see some things from August, January, and June. This didn't understand the assignment. We asked it to create a list of no code news from the past 48 hours, and it did not do that. So this is part of the wonkiness with this new scheduled tasks feature inside of ChatGPT by OpenAI. It's just not really great at the fine tune detail, not yet at least. For that, you're really looking at building something like an AI agent that is put on by an, a dedicated AI agent platform. So for now, uh, I gotta give this a thumbs down. Uh, it's not doing what I actually asked it to do and just find articles in the last 48 hours, but it is promising, right? This is gonna be better, it's gonna get better, it's still in beta, so we gotta take it with a grain of salt that it's gonna mess up like this. But if you have something relatively simple, like give me an inspirational quote every day or remind me to do a particular thing, those types of scheduled tasks will be much more likely to be successful as opposed to these research-based tasks where you know, we're actually looking for ChatGPT to, to find the date and then use that as a filter to then, you know, serve up articles to us. So this is a relatively complex task that we are asking it to do, but for simple stuff, scheduled tasks should work just fine. If you'd like to build an AI and no-code workflow tailored to your team, just reach out to X-Ray for a free consultation. A low-code engineer will spend 15 minutes addressing any problem you're having and then go over your options to move forward. Our clients and members save hours on their recurring tasks every week, reduce human error, and have an easier time finding all the data they need. Just check out our website at xray.tech to schedule a call. That link is on your screen now, and I've put it in the resources board in the description too. Scheduled tasks in ChatGPT are a promising feature, and I think with some good updates, this is going to become a great way to schedule your recurring prompts. If you don't have access to the beta yet, you might want to check out our tutorials for automating your prompts with automation providers like Zapier and Make. The tutorial link for Zapier is on your screen now, and you can find both tutorials in this video's resources board, as always, in the description. If this video helped you out, give us a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly no-code and AI updates. You can follow me and my company X-Ray by searching X-Ray Automation on nearly all social media platforms. For now, I gotta go, but until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.